let's head over to the bakery to buy some bacon because today I'm going to show you how to draw a Spy X family on your forger. Hello there, my name is Philip and welcome to Totally Amazing. Yes, today I'm going to show you how to draw Anya from Spy X Family. Easy. But before you do, and this is very important, make sure you like, subscribe and ring that bell button so you can get notified as soon as the next exciting episode of Totally Amazing comes out. Spy X Family is the hit of the current anime season in 2022. And Anya, oh, she is so cute. She's a little star, she's so gorgeous. She's just like, oh, she just, her little mannerisms, little misunderstandings of things, her actions, oh, she's so cute. My family and I love watching it. So good, so funny, so let's draw her. So for today, we're going to need a pencil, a rubber, a marker, and we're going to use some coloring textures or markers. I'm using my Ahoo! These are so good, they, um, they come out really well, they're really affordable too, and you get to say Ahoo! And of course, we're going to need some paper. So let's get down to it, shall we? Oh, and stay tuned to the end, where I'm gonna put in some bloopers, just for a bit of a laugh. Okay, so to start off with, what we're gonna do is gonna draw a circle a bit of a wide circle for her head now we're going to add some guys to where the center of the face is going to be just one line straight down go a bit beyond the circle because that's going to give us the guide to where the center of the jaw is now what we're going to do is we're going to come down a little bit on the sides and just come in a little bit not too much because she's got a bit of a cute head so you don't want to come down too low you want it to be just a little bit down from the bottom of the circle and then come up on this side so that's that's the basic shape of her full head like that, so it's a nice nice defined jaw over here. Now where the two points of the jaw actually join to the circle, we can draw our line, our guideline for the eyes. So we can bring a line across now. So that's, that gives us a rough idea of where the placement of the eye is going to be. Really handy. So now we're going to put in Anya's eyes. And Anya's eyes are some of the most expressive eyes I've ever seen in anime. So her eyes are quite big, so let's draw a nice oval over here on the one side, and then the same on the other side. Nice big ovals. You want a wide space in the center here. Now let's put in the details of the actual eyes themselves. You want a, a nice thick line on the top which comes down to almost about three quarters of the way of the circle. So that's one eyelid over here. Then we're gonna put in a nice big eye. She has really expressive eyes. Now this edge circle is going to be black as well. It's gonna be dark. And I'm gonna put in a guide for the center eye which is gonna be an oval. And I'm gonna put in a guide for where the actual highlight is going to be. And then we put a little curve over here. This part here is going to be a light green, so I'm going to put a highlight here. So what we've got, this circle here is going to be white. This circle here is going to be white. Now with her eyelashes, she has four on the side here. One, two, three, four, and three at the bottom of the eye. One, two, three. Now this section here, leave that very light because that's actually not going to be drawn in. That's, that's just a guide for when we're coloring. I'm also going to put a little eyelid at the top just a curve above the eye, and that's one eye. Oh, that's really pretty, isn't it? Okay, so let's do the same thing on the other side. We put in a thicker line at the top, about three quarters of the way down. Put in a big iris, with that pupil rather wide. A guide for where our highlight is. Semicircle at the bottom here, tiny circle for another highlight. And of course, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And there are our eyes for Anya. So those are the eyes for Anya, for now. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so the nose, just a tiny little V. Just like that. Okay, so we've drawn her with big wide eyes. Let's give her a big wide smile. And believe it or not, we start off with a frown. Aww. So a rough guide for how wide the mouth is, sort of look at the center of the eyes, and you want to put in your frown, and then we do the opposite. We draw a big curve underneath. Haywire there. And there, so that actually forms the shape of our smile. I'm just going to rub out some of those lines that I made a mistake on. Make it a bit more pretty. So there, that's how you make a smile. So you start off with a frown and then turn that frown upside down. Now we've got our circle here, so we're going to use that as the, the line for our teeth. I'm just going to define that a little bit better. And put a line from the teeth to the mouth on the side here to show that there's a tongue. So now she has an open mouth smile. Lovely. Okay, now let's start working on her hair. Her hair actually forms quite an interesting shape. They're almost like horns that come down and get thicker as they go around and they sort of enclose into the face a little bit. So these, let's put in some guides. So we want to make sure that the hair actually crosses into her face a little bit. So we're going to put in the shape of what the hair is going to be. So it comes in to the face over here. So we're going to cut off that part of the jaw and then we're going to bring this around 
I'm going to taper it in as it comes to the top of the head. Now remember, it's not going to hit the actual head because it's not skin, it sits on top of the head. So that's, that's one side, and now I'm going to do the same on this side. Coming in from around here, and it's going to again cross the face. So it's going to come to a point and then it's going to taper out and then come back in as it comes back around. So that's the basic shape of the front of the hair. And then we're going to have little bangs in the front here. And they come down almost as far as the actual the eyes themselves. So one, two, and then sideways ones, two, and three, and then one and two, which closes in at the actual start of the hair itself. So that's her hair there. And I'm just going to put one extra one over here that's going to come and join into that hair as well. So we've got a line going like this down and this hair is going to go up like that. Now just put in a few more extra details on the hair. So following the line from back down here and bring that up like that. Same on this side. And we sort of follow the shape of the head there. And we can even put another one down here. One, two, and same on this side. Following up from the hair there and there. I'm going to taper that in just a little bit more. Bring it over the top. She also has a little cowlick at the top, so we're going to go out like that. So there's now we're going to put in just a little bit of the back of the hair. If you want to learn a little bit more about what I'm talking about with front and back hair, I did a video on how to draw an anime head. I explain it a lot better than that. All we do that is just put in some little curves on the side, like so to help accentuate the hair a little bit. She also has the little little sort of head caps on the side here. So we're gonna draw those. So what you wanna do, do you wanna put in a triangle over here? Keep it fairly wide and short. And over here as well. This one, because it's the side that's closest to seeing us, we're gonna curve it around a little bit. And curve along the bottom there and put some jagged lines along the sides there. Same on this side, we just need to do the jagged lines because that's all we see. So we're gonna have dark side, light side. Okay, so that's basically Anya's head. Let's start working on the body. Now, Anya is very short. She's only about three heads high, including her head. So that's one head, a rough guide, two head, three head. So that's her whole entire height. So down here, that's where her feet are gonna be. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna put in a basic stick skeleton so we can figure out what the actual body's actually doing. So I want the body to come like this. There'll be the legs over here. The leg this way, and we'll have an arm coming up here, and this arm can be down. Now her proportions are very short. Now for her dress, her dress is sort of like a bell shape. It sort of tapers out a little bit at the edges, so it bellows, and then it comes back in. So we're going to draw a bell shape. And sort of go a little bit deep and then back up, and then bellow it back up to the head. And we've got our, I'm going to put a circle in for the hand, circle in for the hand, and little triangles for the feet. Just for now. These are our guys. Okay, now stop. Have a look. Are you happy with the proportions? Are you happy with the length of the lines? Because this is the chance now that you can change it. Otherwise, once you go ahead and you think, oh, I think I should have changed that, it's a bit late. Whereas now is the time to stop and have a look. So think, oh, yeah, that arm looks good. Or no, I need to move that a little bit. This is the chance for you to do that. So have a look. I'm happy with that, let's continue. Okay, so I'm gonna be drawing her home dress today. So she's gonna have a little neck for her neck, obviously. And then gonna bring it back. And her home dress, she has a rectangle up the front here at the collar. And you put a little line either side for her collarbone. Then she has a little bow. So we're gonna put in a little trapezium over here. So it's wider at the top than it is at the bottom. Now we put a curve out and then bring it down a little bit and then curve back. Same on the other side, curve out, down and then back. That's the basic shape of our bow. What we do now, we put a line over the top and come in a little bit to bring it back. Same on this side, line from the top and then come in a bit and bring it back. That gives us our bow shape. And then we just put some little lines either side for the strings of the bow. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so now I'm going to define the dress a little bit more. So it's going to come down and just kick it really out further, because remember I said it was a bell shape, and just wave it around a little bit. So I'm putting in a wavy line, so she's she's done a bit of moving, 
and bring that around and back up. So that's the lovely shape of the dress. Happy with that. Okay, now her arms. So sleeves on her arms are actually about three quarters of the length of her arm. But on this side, the arm is up. So the sleeve will actually fall down a bit. So I'm going to put in a nice little bellow over here and bring that over. And there's going to be an oval here for the, the bellowing of the sleeve. I'm just going to put a line to show that it's sort of rippled a bit. Okay, now, I'm going to, now I can put in my arm itself. So the, this is where the, the elbow would be. So I'm going to go up. And I'm tapering in as I get to the end of the hand. But you can make it sort of fairly chubby because she's, she's cute. She's a little, she's a little she's a cute. As a so we want to draw cute little stubby hands. So I'm going to draw a little, I'm going to continue in my circle here. And then I'm going to put in one. You want short little little chubby little fingers so I'm going to put my hand over and then one two three four they're sort of like little sausages that's what the cute little hands are so there's one hand and now I'm going to do the other one now this side the arm is down so the actual sleeve will be a lot further down so I'm going to draw an oval and then bring that straight back to the shoulder itself you don't need to do too much details on this side because it's straight. So I'm just going to put a little, little ripple like that just to show that there is clothing. And again, tapering in as we go. Now I'm going to put in my circle for the guide of my hand. And I'm going to have one little sausage over here. And then sausage, sausage, sausage. I'm not going to draw the third finger because it's going to be sort of hidden behind the hand. And now her legs. Her legs are quite easy because the dress actually covers most of them. So I'm just going to taper in some legs like so. So the lines are going to sort of bellow out and then taper in at the base. And her feet are really easy. They're cute. They're just drawing a little, little U shape. This time I'm going to come down. U shape again. Or this, and bring it down. And then you just draw another one inside. Because she wears cute little shoes. Again on this side. And now the socks. You want to draw a curve on the leg. And then from behind, you want to come out a little bit. Jagged little lines, and there's her socks. Jagged little lines, socks. And there you go. There's the basics of what Anna is going to look like. So we've got the guidelines of what Anna is going to look like. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my marker, and I'm going to mark in all the lines I want to keep, and then rub out all the ones I don't want. But I'm going to leave the eye lines, because they're going to be the guide for when I'm actually coloring the eyes, because there's a lot to the eyes. So let's do that. <laughs> Okay, so we've done the inking for our onion. What we're going to do now, we're going to grab our uh -hoo -hoo markers and we're going to start colouring in. Now, remember I said I left the eye guides because I need them for what I'm going to do for the eyes. Now, because she has at least four different shades of green in the eyes. I know, right? So let's start colouring in the eyes. Okay, so to start off with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my darkest green. And I'm going to fill in the pupil itself. Like so. And do the same on the other side. So that's the darkest part of the eye, which is the center. And it's a green, not a black, green. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my pale green. Now this is sort of like a, a light mint green. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the edges of what I just drew. So I'm going to make the edge of the iris, or the pupil, sorry, have this little light green around it. It's very subtle, very subtle, but it is there. Now I'm going to grab my yellow green, which is GY4. And I'm going to put in the little highlight curve that we did at the bottom, bearing in mind that there is a highlight dot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub out that little dot now because I want to make sure that it's not seen. And now I can colour in the actual base of the eye, bearing in mind there's that little highlight. So see the little dot there? It's very subtle, but it is there. Same on this side. And there's the little, little area that I keep white. Finally, I grab my grass green, which is a mid green, and we fill in the rest of the eye. Bearing in mind, there is also a highlight here as well. So I'm going to go around the whole circle 
of the eye and then add the highlight area to leave that white. And now I just color in the section. And that is that eye. Same on this side, go around the whole eye. And then leaving the highlight and coloring that eye. And that's her expressive eyes. Very, very lovely, very, very expressive. All right, so that's the scariest part of the onion is the eye. They're done. Let's just fiddle in the rest by coloring the rest in white. Before I go too far too, I want to note that I've still got this part of the eye marked with the pencil. That's the guy for when I'm coloring the skin because now I've got to put in the skin marks. <laughs> That's the basic colouring done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a little bit of a fruit pink to her cheeks, just to add a little bit of a, a rosiness there. And there you have it, Anya Forger from Spy X Family. So cute, so funny. Oh, she's gorgeous. Love her, love her. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed drawing Anya with me today. Hey, if you made it this far, why not leave a message in the comments saying, Ooh, Anya's favourite food. Hint. It's peanuts. Well done you. So remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you can get notified as soon as the next exciting episode of Totally Amazing comes out. Speaking of all things Spy and Spy X Family, I have a secret message for you. I have a fantastic comic called Antispy. It's full of laughs, adventure, and excitement. There's a secret code for you to find in the description. This message will not self-destruct in 30 seconds. That was a good one. Other than that, guys, thank you for joining me on How to Draw Anya Forger from Spy X Family. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hit that bell button so you can get, you can get, you can get, you can get, by the next, do that one again. <laughs> that was terrible. But before, but before, but before, but before, again, subscribe and ring that bell, but, 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 what am I saying? Exciting episode. Ah, the next exciting episode. Ha ha. Oh, by the way, stay tuned to the end where you actually get to watch the bloopers that we did. This is one of them. Expressive eyes of, that's all folks. It's a V. Now stop, hammer time. So now I'm going to have I'll do that all bit. I'll do that bit where I do that a bit again. I have a secret message for you. The cheese is old and moldy.